Hello students and welcome back to class. Happy Vegan Declaration Day to you. Happy Vegan Declaration Day to you. Whether you've been vegan for a lifetime or, or just a minute, welcome to the club. We're so glad you're in it. Happy Vegan Declaration Day to you. Happy Vegan Declaration Day to you. Everywhere around the world, animals are lining up to thank you for your compassion and for allowing your heart. To open up. Welcome to class. Happy Vegan Declaration Day to everybody who is a new vegan. Well, today we're going to be looking at a new student here in class, and somebody told me about him. Apparently, his name is Jamie Oliver. Let's go over the criteria for the presentation today. We're looking to make sure that the student talks about the following. Did the student show any vegan cruelty-free products like Beyond Burgers, soy milk, vegan cheese, or vegan pet food brands during the presentation? We're going to be looking for that. And we're going to be looking also for this. Did the student talk about how cute, innocent baby boy chicks are murdered by being put in giant blenders at birth just because they are considered to be useless in the industry? Did the student talk about how all schools and hospitals should have vegan foods only policies so that everyone can eat them and so that no murder enters these buildings? I hope that this new student talks about these things because that would be amazing. Did the student refrain from showing any dead animal products or their secretions during the presentation? And the last one, did the, meat, did the student call out the horrible people who torture mother pigs by shoving them into cages so tight that they can't even turn around? Let's see. All right, so let's get right to this. Everybody has got their pages ready. Remember to write the title here of the name of the person whose name is apparently Jamie Oliver. And we're going to write good on this side and bad on this side. And anytime that you see something good or bad, make a check mark if it's good and make an X if it's bad. All right, let's have a look here. Let's see how Jamie does. Looking forward to this. I hope he has a nice vegan meal for us. To make the most delicious crispy lamb flatbreads with a rainbow slaw. We're celebrating leftover lamb. And that what? What? Leftover lamb. Leftover. This lamb was already murdered? And these are more of the lamb's parts? Oh my goodness, this is not starting off very well. No, 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 no. Jamie, lamb. Jamie, no, no, no. Your presentation is supposed to be about vegan foods. You're supposed to cook a vegan meal. We are not showing dead lamb, no. Never. We don't burn animals in frying pans. Actually, you could use any leftover. Again? Now it's on a pita bread of some sort? No, Jamie. Lambs are innocent animals who didn't want to die. They shouldn't be cut up and put on a dish like this, this is not okay. Students, remember that you are also to be evaluating people and you will send me your evaluations to my Instagram account, which is that vegan teacher, Miss Katie for Instagram. Take a picture of your page like this and send it to me after. We're gonna see how well you guys do at evaluating. The roasted meats. So let's do this, we've got 150 grams of self-raising flour. Into this, we're gonna add a good pinch of sea salt, and then go in with about 110 milliliters of cold water. I'm gonna use a fork in a little bowl to mix this up, and if the dough is just a little bit too wet, you can add some flour. If it's a bit too dry, you can add a little bit more water. So move the bowl around. You can see it going from a kind of little slurry to a light dough. At that point, we can go from using the fork 
to using our hands. What we want is a nice, pliable, elastic, soft dough, and I'll just give it a nice little knead like that, right? It's nice and smooth, and I can just leave that here now to rest while I show you the principles. All right, well, this is good so far. We're seeing some vegan foods, but we're still looking for the criteria here. Don't forget, we are looking for the criteria of the cards that I wrote up here. Did the student call out the meat industry? Is the, the student refraining from showing dead animals? Unfortunately, that's already happened. That's not okay. But good, we have here some uh, different vegetables. So let's give Jamie one good check mark for all of the different vegetables that we're seeing. These are great vegan foods. We have some carrots there, an onion, some lettuce. That's good. Flour is vegan beautiful rainbow slaw and this is a great opportunity to talk through how quick and brilliant a little box grater slaw can be any leftover veggies that are crunchy you can celebrate and use this things like carrots i go to this thick side of a box grater and i try and do long strokes you really don't need much of each vegetable bit of white cabbage bit of red cabbage fennel bit of posher but really nice crunchy aniseed little bit of radish. Okay, so we have our box grater slaw. What a celebration of color. So to make that really sing, we're gonna hit this hard with lemon juice, a little herb like mint. We'll hit it up with some salt. If you want to give it a little kiss of olive oil, you can. And I won't toss that until the last minute. Now, pan is hot, slaw is done, dough is done. This is super quick stuff, guys. Just take a little bit of extra flour and we'll just dust it lightly like that. So what I want to do is roll this out with a rolling pin about kind of a centimetre, half a centimetre thick. I quite like to really fill that pan, so we'll go quite wide. This pan is very hot and I'm just going to literally pick it up and I'm going to put it straight into there dry. Like that. Push it out to the edges and just let the heat do its thing. All these little bubbles here, that's texture, and that's gonna soak up flavor and all sorts of gorgeous things. So give that 30 more seconds while I cut up the lamb here. Now, there's something beautiful about- Oh no, not again. Jamie, you were doing so well. You were showing how to make a flatbread. You were showing how to grate these vegetables. Jamie, no. You're cutting an animal. That is somebody's baby. This is completely unacceptable. Leftover meat that is really, really. That is somebody's muscles, Jamie. Divine, you get that extra flavor. I'm just gonna cut it up badly, like what? No, no, Jamie, we don't talk about cutting up baby animals. Do you not know what you're doing? Jamie, these are lambs. Lambs are sentient beings. They have eyes and ears like we do. They don't want to be hurt. They want to play outside. They don't want to be murdered. They don't want to end up on a plate somewhere. No, this is wrong. It is wrong what you're doing. Right, so I'll put that back on this little plate. Now no, holding... Jamie. We don't put lambs on plates. Jamie, your presentation here today was supposed to be to talk about how the meat, dairy, and egg industries do not belong anywhere in our videos. This is that vegan teacher's school. This presentation is unacceptable. You automatically fail if you show any dead animals. You know that. I have told you that before. Your responsibility in this presentation is to talk about the information on this cards, these cards here. You're supposed to show cruelty-free products. Now, you did show a few, some vegetables, and that's good. But where are the vegan alternatives to what you're showing? Where is the vegan meat? Where is the tofu? Just flavor it nice and delicately. Here, 
I've got some beautiful ground coriander. It's really nice, a good pinch. Batty. What are you doing? You are putting vegan food on top of a dead body. No. No, that's not okay. If you've got herbs, thyme, rosemary, great, but I love dried oregano. I'll just crumble over the top. The bread here, I'm just gonna turn it. Should be nicely charred, look at that. Now what? Okay, it's great that you are teaching people how to make this bread, but you are not fulfilling the criteria of the assignment. A lemon, just a little bit of zest. Fresh flavors, don't waste anything, right? Absolutely amazing. And then I'm just gonna kiss it with just a little olive oil and salt. You do not kiss a dead animal. Jamie, we've been over this. Here is a lamb. You kiss the lamb when the lamb is alive. You walk up to the lamb, Jamie, not with a knife, but with love in your heart. You hug the lamb. Look at these innocent babies. Look at them. Look at that. Why would you want to kill an innocent lamb? Why would you want to hurt an animal? What makes you think that an animal is food? Animals are here on earth with us, not for us. Lambs belong with their mothers, Jamie. Look how cute they are. We must never hurt animals. At Easter, a lamb deserves to remain outdoors. Oh, Jamie, I'm so sorry that you are, that to give you this news, but you really didn't understand the criteria for the assignment. And almost dress the leftover lamb. Jamie, you do not put your hands into the flesh of a dead animal. If an animal died, you bury them. You treat their body with dignity. You don't manipulate them with your hands. Would you ever do that if a child died? Let's have a little look at this flatbread. If I just turn it out on here, beautiful. So I'll just put that to the side, just for a second, and we're now gonna go into the pan with the lamb. No, you do not burn the flesh of an animal. Do you know how much it hurts to be burnt? Do you, can you imagine how this lamb died? How would you like to have your throat slit? How would you like to be taken away from your mother? Do you know how many mothers have babies and would just absolutely be mortified if somebody took their babies away from them and cut them up and put them in a frying pan? This I is disgraceful. Golden, kind of overcooked, crispy, gnarly. No, we do not cook animals. We love animals. I'm gonna take just a little bit of lemon juice and go into the pan. No, we don't put lemon on a dead body. Never. Right, for that fresh acidity, so sour. We don't flip so them in well a frying sour? pan. Sweet. What is wrong a with you? Of honey. And you're gonna get the most shiny contrast, sweet. Honey is not vegan. Do not use honey. Honey belongs to bees. We do not steal. We do not believe in stealing at that vegan teacher's school. You have just stolen the life of an animal and now you have just stolen honey from a bee. Sour, herby, fragrant, and then we go back in with our bread. And you... Why are you putting bread on top of an animal? Why are you putting bread on top of dead body parts? What the fuck is wrong with you? Just like, give it a little wash. That is gross! What the fuck? <sighs> Push it down, be careful of course. And then onto the board. That's what we're after. Look at that, it's just sizzling away. Yes, I've made a little bit of mess. So with that, I take my snore and at the last minute. No, Jamie. These foods, yes. This right here is vegan. But you cannot make a meal with a dead animal in it. Animals are friends, not food. Jamie, 
Animals are not ours to eat, wear, or use. Do you understand the criteria for the assignment now? I'm sorry, but I cannot keep watching this. It's an automatic fail, Jamie, if you show any dead animals in your presentation. I'm so sorry, students, everyone else who is forced to watch this, I apologize. Those of you who are going through Vistopia, the anguish of being vegan in a non-vegan world, I am so sorry that this appeared on the screen. Those of you who are suffering from vegan phobia, people who are being teased and to be made terrible, feel terribly about being vegan, I am so sorry for you too. Jamie Oliver, your job is not to be vegan phobic, but to be vegan fantastic, to support vegans. And you support vegans by not showing dead animals on screen. Jamie Oliver, it is good that you showed some vegetables. It's amazing, that part. But the fact that you kept showing this dead, innocent life is not okay. And unfortunately, you fail this assignment. I hope that you do this assignment again and that you come back to class and make the exact same meal without any dead body parts. Everyone else who is vegan or who wants to learn how to be vegan, subscribe to this channel. Down, you will see there a button. Press subscribe and press notification so you will get notifications. On this channel, we'll be learning that animals are friends not food and that cow's milk is for baby cows and baby lambs deserve to stay with their mothers thanks for watching everybody and to jamie oliver you need to change coming up on screen now you will see all kinds of other videos please click on them have a look around that vegan teacher's site there are videos from the past from uh, different presentations that you will see of other chefs who are vegan, and you will also see all kinds of other things that have to do with veganism and with protecting the animals, the most innocent among us. Thank you to everybody who's vegan, and happy Vegan Declaration Day to all of you who have decided to become vegan after witnessing this. You're on the right side of history. You're amazing. Thank you.